Why do I look so pasty next to you? Um, so I can vote in. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm Tassie, and today I am eating at Co-op Restaurant. We're going to be having some Cambodian cuisine. And who I'm actually eating with? This is my friend Chan. We actually went to high school together. Hey, <laughs> I'm Chan. I went to high school together, um, and we're actually joined by uh, Tassie today. We're at Co-op Restaurant um, in St. Paul. Uh, we're pretty excited to have her here. Um, yeah, we've been sitting here with the food in front of us for a couple minutes. Now. It looks amazing. It smells amazing. I can't get over this soup. So for those of you guys who don't know, this is actually pretty famous here at Colab Restaurant. It was featured in New York Times. This is their sour soup. And this is a chicken and shrimp one. We did chicken and shrimp today. It's called the Siem Rip uh, Sour Soup. Siem Rip? Siem Rip. Siem Rip. Perfect. So let's go ahead and try that first because I, I really want the soup. So. <laughs> Yeah, just stick right in. So, what is this right here? So it's like, uh, like a gourd. A gourd? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Weird of a gourd. It's like uh, it's like a squash. pumpkin or something yeah, like that. Squash, okay. Pumpkin gourd. Um, there's also fried garlic right on top. Um, we have fresh basil also. Um, you guys have tomatoes in here. Tomatoes and pineapples. Okay. So then, like, um, is this? So okay, so oh pineapple. Okay. Yep. So Siem Rip is a, a northern province in Cambodia. This is what the soup is named after. Um, it's sweet and sour, delicious. Um, yep, we make it pretty nice here at Colat Restaurant. My, oh, yeah. it smells really, really good. <laughs> Thai pepper and fish sauce. Is it salty already? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Let's try it. Mmm. Right? Um, it's been featured on the New York Times. So the broth in here, um, the citrusy notes, it really stands out. You can really taste it. But it is like, you know, savory. Like, is this like a chicken stock or anything like that? It's chicken beef stock. Mm. Uh, most di most Cambodian dishes start with a pork stock, but for this soup, it's a chicken stock. Okay. So I like to eat this with a side of chili, this sauce. Ah, oh, you eat rice with it? Yep. Here I am just eating it the way it is. <laughs> You taste the basil in there. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Really? <laughs> yeah, with like all the veggies on there, it's really good too. Yeah, the pineapples make it make the dish. Mm -hmm. I've never had a soup with pineapple. Can you pass me the rice, son? Sorry. Oh, can you pass me the white rice? Thank you. Thank you. All right, so the other dish that I am super excited to try out. What is this called again? Uh, this right here is the pork. Fermented pork is called brahakti. Brahakti? Brahak. Brahakti. Kind of like a kti. 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 Yes. I'm going to stop. So this you typically eat like like a condiment or you eat it with some veggies so and we'll you dip eat into it? So eat it with some raw veggies. Uh, what we have here is some cabbage, uh, broccoli, what is it? Long beans? Long beans. Long beans, cucumbers. Okay. Um, Can you so put some uh, cucumber and, um, oh. Sure, sure, grab it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to like reach over you. I don't want to be like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they put this thing in a uh, papaya salad. Yeah. I think it's called long beans or green beans. It's not green beans. It's so I just want to like want to try it with a little bit of everything. Thank you. Yeah, so I'll here, I'll show you how to do it. Okay. I'm ready. Grab some of this. Let's keep it on the spoon. 
Put on a plate. I like a little pepper. I also eat this place. Um, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of cabbage. Of cabbage. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to dip it kind of like a boat, however mm -hmm. you want it. Okay. Let's, ready? <laughs> let's do like a reenactment of that. <laughs> okay. So you just put a little bit on here. Yep. So I'm, I was kind of scared about this because <laughs> uh, she said it's fermented pork. And I got really scared because of that. So yeah. I'm going to put pepper to like mask yeah. it in case I don't like it. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And with the veggies, it's like fresh. Mm -hmm. I grew up eating this with rice and not veggies because I didn't eat veggies Yeah. <laughs> this, this is like just um, ground pork. Mm -hmm. That you put like um, some oyster sauce and um, a little bit of the red curry, that masri curry. That was really good. I was like so afraid, so yeah. <laughs> because of the fermented pork, you saying fermented pork, it got really, really scared. Yeah. But it's actually really good. So it's actually fermented with uh, peas. I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's some peas in there. Huh. Ah. Mm -hmm. Eat it with the pepper, right kick. Pretty good. I am not a fan of raw broccoli, <laughs> but this masks it perfectly. <laughs> I like it with the like, cucumbers. Yeah. Pretty fresh. And I like how you guys have that pickled daikon and pickled veggies here. Yeah. So a lot of Cambodian dishes you eat uh, protein with pickled veggies, daikon, carrots. You see that a lot. So this is um beef skewer? Mm -hmm. We call it um, psycho chika. Chika means a skewer. I can't hold it out. <laughs> oh. mm. This is sweet. Yep. This is how they eat it at the top. Really? <laughs> and then just one go. Huh. Oh my god. I really like your food here is like amazing. <laughs> so apparently Collab has been super well known even amongst my close friends. Nobody has ever told me about how delicious this place is. They're rated really high for the reviews. And then like finally we set this up for me to come and film here and I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> You all knew this whole time how amazing it was to eat. Yeah, how long do we know each other? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Chan's been working here since she was in high school. So. Well, I worked um, my senior year here during the summertime, um, and then went out to college. So, and then I just been in and out at the restaurant. Just helping out. Um, this is actually my cousin's restaurant. The food is so good. These skewers are really, really good. I'm gonna like come here during lunch at work. <laughs> Just order food to go. <laughs> yeah. So we do bite squad and grub up. Mm hmm They deliver too. Mm -hmm. I love the broth of this. <laughs> I'm like into the pork right now. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Do you do you make that at home too for yourself? I don't know how to make it. Really? I don't know how to make it. I mean, anything basic like the soup or I don't know. We have spring roll cut I I can make. Uh huh. Um, but I mean, like the acquired taste, you taste in the pork. Can't, can't really like match that right away. So, do you
do you guys and you guys make i mean like they make a lot of this stuff in the restaurant even like their chili oil here i'm gonna reach for it they have like this chili oil that they actually make this in the restaurant too i mean i would just buy it <laughs> look at me i would just buy it this is like awesome I feel like I'm so busy eating everything, but I haven't gotten to everything. I like want all of it in one spoon. <laughs> Going in for some more. Yeah, it's really good. I'm not afraid of it anymore. <laughs> Do you want some? So what is this? This is just fish sauce with pepper? Yeah. So I just learned this today that a lot of uh, Cambodian cuisine is very similar to Thai cuisine. I didn't know that. It's similar to Thai, but not as spicy. More sweet. More yeah, you guys have a lot of that sweet and savoriness going on, yeah. which I really like. Do you want some of the pad thai? Yeah, I'm pretty ready. Mm -hmm. Right, so for their pad thai, is this a Cambodian thing or is it just your restaurant? It's a Cambodian thing. They actually have like this sauce here and you can choose to pour it on your pad thai or add some to it or you can just eat the pad thai alone. Right. So it's really up to your taste and we do have beef pad thai. And what is in that sauce? The sauce? Uh -huh. um, so, I mean, you'll see this, this is kind of the same sauce as the egg roll sauce. Yeah. Um, so there's fish sauce, there's um, Thank you. vinegar, sugar, <clears throat> again, playing on this, the sweet side. Do you want to set Alright, so I'm gonna try it without the sauce first. Mm, I made it spicy. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm all happy. <laughs> Add more pepper to them. Okay. Now I'm gonna try the sauce. But I'll let you know what's happening. I prefer it without the sauce. Really? Look, I just put like a tiny corner. <laughs> Now I'm afraid. I like the sauce. The sauce gives it that really limey. Mm -hmm. That's probably why your brother just downstairs. Yeah, <laughs> well, I watched it like go and put more on that. <laughs> I like it. Did you want some? No. 
So do we have a lot of Cambodian restaurants in the Twin Cities? In the Twin Cities? Um, <clears throat> so the other one that I know is Ching Hang. Mm -hmm. It's right on uh, University, not too far from here. Um, and then in Bloomington or in Richfield, there's a uh, like kind of like a night bar called Red Pepper. Mm -hmm. and that's also Chinese um, Cambodian food. Okay, kind of like kind of like a kolap. Kolap is a Chinese fusion. Okay, I was gonna say, do you, are you guys a Chinese fusion to them? Yeah. Okay. Um, our family is part Chinese. Mm. I met one of your aunts earlier. <laughs> she was super cute. I know I have to eat some spring rolls, but I'm going back with the soup. We should have with spring rolls. Yeah, we should have. <laughs> the soup is so good. Yeah, so a lot of the customers order sour soup. They come in for the sour soup. Mm -hmm. It has such a unique taste. Where it's savory and sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. It's not like hot and sour, like mm -hmm. Chinese hot sauce. You just drink it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 you get to the bite of pepper and like. Oh, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I like your pad thai. Especially with that dipping sauce. <laughs> I think because it's so different, you know, maybe that's why I'm like really into it. But I can see like growing up eating this, why you would like the dry. Yeah. into the sauce as well that it's like the pad thai sauce? Yep, same sauce. Oh, so do you not like Thai? Because Thai people, they tend to um, use a sweeter sauce yeah, instead yeah. of like the Vietnamese. <laughs> I mean, spring rolls are pretty spare, but at cold off they make it nice and big and fat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And the sauce goes with just about everything. So there is cucumber. It's a shrimp and chicken sprinkle. <laughs> Is it chicken? <laughs> or is it pork? I can believe it's pork. Oh, okay. and pork. <laughs> I really like the meat too. <laughs> you guys have some rice, huh? Thank <laughs> you. 
like his mung thing. They just love to give kids banana and rice and I hate it. And I don't like sugar because they would also do that with sugar and rice. I don't like it. Yeah, so Cambodian people we eat watermelon rice as a yeah, growing up. <laughs> it's kind of like water and rice but watermelon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you mush it up? No. Or is it like whole pieces? Like whole pieces. Okay. Or like grilled watermelon? Yeah. <laughs> Watermelon and rice, white rice. <coughs> it's just as almost as refreshing as uh, cucumbers in the summertime. Oh, really? Kind of the same concept. No, do you do anything to the watermelon? Like, do you salt it? Do you? No. I don't know. Fish sauce it? <laughs> just, just plain it. <laughs> just, just plain it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we still have your bubble tea. Ah, I'm so full. <laughs> you can take it to go. <laughs> I'm just going to try and finish my plate here. <laughs> Have you ever been to Cambodia? I've been to Thailand, not Cambodia. Mm. How was it? Um, it was a culture shock. <laughs> this is my first time out of the country. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's like you definitely see stuff that you haven't seen. 
the way of life there. I was in Chiang Mai, so it's kind of like the rural area. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting stopped. Oh. <gasps> I really want to finish my fat tie that's on my plate though. <laughs> My sister, um, my brother-in-law, he's in the Marines, and he's actually stationed out in Okinawa. Mm -hmm. So they're both there right now, okay. and it's just like um, they live on base right now. <laughs> but my sister is trying really hard to go and live with the locals. <laughs> really hard. <laughs> I'm sure there's like a community there of like Americans. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of other uh, marine vibes there mm -hmm. and help her. And she's taking uh, classes to learn how to speak Japanese. That's a start. Um, for the, I think like um, the government offers them free classes. Mm -hmm. I know like my family there are planning on going to visit her in a year or two. Mm -hmm. I saw her apartment in Japan and it's bigger than my apartment. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <clears throat> Don't they live in more like petite compact places though? Mm -hmm. It's like a high rise kind of Japanese when you think of like Japan. But it's funny because she was doing like a tour showing the place, but it looked like in those Japanese horror movies, like it just kind of had that feeling, you know? <laughs> Like, it's gonna come out of the closet. It's gonna come out. <laughs> and, um, but she has like this beautiful, like, uh, porch or deck. So I'm just like balcony, and I'm just like, oh my god. I don't even have that. <laughs> Alright. Food was phenomenal. I am really shocked that I am 31 years old, and I'm finally here. When this place has been here for like 15 years. So, if you guys are in the St. Paul area, this is right off of University and Dale. Oh, Thomas. Oh, Thomas and Dale. I'm Thomas sorry. Avenue and Dale. So, definitely stop by. They have parking in the back as well. And thanks for having me, Jan. Yeah, no, thanks for coming by. I'm trying out the soup and everything else. Oh, it's okay. I'm so full right now. We ordered too much food. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Everything was fantastic. It's different, right? Yeah, it's so different um, <laughs> from the past time. Yeah, like like from Thai food, uh, Vietnamese food. It's different. It's like you can't even say it's like Thai food.